I mean, fish don't grow mad. I've heard about this before, like, in there somewhere are some African cichlids. And apparently, you can set your LED lights if you're a breeder to simulate the lightning storms in the rainy season in Lake Malawi in Africa. So let's give it the test. Obviously my bulb's about to die. Switch it to the other one. That's probably been doing that for an hour. There's a little African. Kenny. Now they've had a lightning storm. I'm going to top it up with some cold water. Rainy season. I bet you they're trying to breed tomorrow, next day. This is a fat mouthful. My half a fish is a male, the spotted one is a female. And after the fake lightning storm, when the light failed the other day, you see how much it underneath of her chin is bulging. Look at her bullying him. Other way around, look at him bullying her. She's hiding, look. She's got a mouth full of fish. He'll show her who's boss. Evil things, cichlids. People think nature's nice. You want to try keeping some African cichlids in a tank? Where's this gun in? It's me sucker mouth. There's a couple in here somewhere. She's just pumping water around and she won't open her lips, but she's constantly circulating water, giving oxygen to the eggs in her mouth. That's what those bright egg, bright spots on his anal fin. When she lays her eggs, she swims around picking them up. He jumps in and starts shaking his tail and doing his business and then he fertilizes the eggs as she's picking them up and that's what they are they're fake egg spots that's how you know you've got a male fish if it's got the egg spots very bright they should do this for 30 days with no food She'll look even skinnier. 